Okay. Okay. It's uh, June the 16th. Mom, hello. Hello. Uh, it's not June the 16th. It's July the 2nd. <laughs> That's right. I don't know why I thought it was just the That's 16th. That's right. So it's July the 2nd, and we're going to do a little, um, little five-minute interview, something like that. Okay. And so what I'd like the topic to be today is to have you discuss some of the disagreements that you may have had with Dad, uh, disagreements like all married couples do. And so if you could uh, describe a few, that would be great. Okay? Okay. All right. So I'm going to ask you to raise your voice just a little bit and then go ahead. Oh, and to tell something different? No, the same, the like same. the one you were just describing. Okay. Since I was out of uh, four sisters, I was the first one to get married by the Catholic Church mm -hmm. and have a big wedding with the neighbors and friends. Mm -hmm. And my mother and dad fixed up the front porch so we could have the reception there or lunch. So I, Armando's, my husband's br oldest brother, Federico, said I'll have some men cook cabrito. And uh, then Armando's sister said, we'll fix the, uh, cook the uh, beans and the rice, Mexican rice, so we can serve it. And, and mother made the punch and uh, bar dishes all around <laughs> the neighborhood so we could, and tables and chairs so we could have everything in the front mm -hmm. patio. Mm -hmm. And you, you said earlier that, that you actually thought about canceling the wedding yes. because of the weather? Well, what happened uh, three days before, it got real cold and uh, I think we had a little bit of snow, and and I told mother, I think we better cancel the wedding because the weather, it's it looks like it's going to be bad. But mother said no, everything's already fixed to have the wedding, whether cold weather comes or not, you're going to get married inside the church. <laughs> anyway, but, so it actually snowed in Del Rio, Texas. A little bit. So we that had, must have been the people that said, uh, Armando and Flavia will get married when hell freezes over. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. what a coincidence. The very day of the wedding, the sun came out and the weather got beautiful, mm -hmm. turned beautiful. Mm -hmm. So it was just perfect because we were going to have the reception out in the patio mm -hmm. of my parents' home. And uh, so that's the way we had it. And and we served uh, what they prepared, and Mother made the punch, and my sister Odilia made the cake. My sister Odilia was very good at making cakes, mm -hmm. so. Oh, very good, what kind of cake did she make? Well, it was just, uh, uh, she knew that I love pineapple, so she made a pineapple cake, mm -hmm. and decorated the best way she could. And then what about Grandma's punch? What kind and of punch Mother's punch have? was good. Mm -hmm. She made it with different orange juice, pineapple juice, and mm -hmm. grape juice. Uh -huh. So she was... made a big, big <laughs> pot of it. Uh -huh. So How many people do you think you had at your wedding? I think we had about uh, 200. 200 people. Or less. That was like half the population of Del Rio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, more or less, you know. Mm -hmm. Because... We had a lot of friends mm -hmm. and uh, neighbors, and we thought we can't just invite a few. We have to invite mm -hmm. all the ones we know. So what was the disagreement that you had? Uh, did you have a disagreement with Dad at the time? Or? Uh, no, more or less. It was just uh, simple, you know, mm -hmm. that uh, he thought maybe we should... Uh, leave after the wedding and uh, he and his brother Joe had a little uh, small car I don't know if you mm -hmm. I forgot the name of it but mm -hmm. uh, this, we, is, this is 1939 uh, 1939 and we went to Eagle Pass and uh, spent the first night there and then 
I had a real cute white suit, I remember. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were going to take the train to Cuatro Cienegas, where we left, where uh, my husband wanted me to meet his sister and the rest of the relatives that they had there. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know how it was going to turn out. I just was something different for me to go on a train ride. Mm -hmm. But oh boy, uh, I wore that pretty little white suit and, and then the train puff puff. I got all full of black stuff. <laughs> Your suit got full yes, of soot. Yes, full of, and my face <laughs> and everything. I was so upset uh -huh. with my husband. I got real mad because I thought he knew uh, if the train was going to be like that with that kind of smoke, oh, I wouldn't have worn that dust white suit. And everything. So we arrived in Cuatro Cienegas. I was all black from top to bottom. <laughs> and what a presentation to meet his sister and relatives, aunts and uncles and cousins. And they probably said, who is this color woman that Armando married? Because I really look all, I had smoke all over my face and my suit. Uh -huh. So how do you think I felt? I was mad at him uh -huh. for, for not telling me if he knew that you were going to get kind of, all I was, sooty with, uh, yeah, with well, that. Yeah, I was so <laughs> mad with him. I think I stayed mad with uh, for about a week. I, I didn't want to speak to him. I said, the suit. I was more worried about the suit getting uh -huh. all black. Yeah. And I remember I had to tell his sister when I met her, you know, he, her and her name was Delfina, and we call her Finita, and her husband. And and I said, I want to take a shower. She said, I'll get one of the maids mm -hmm. to prepare your shower. But I didn't know anything what how it was going to be. Mm -hmm. And then they said, okay, one of the maids told Finita. I said, okay, tell your brother's wife that the, the shower is ready for her to take her bath. Mm -hmm. And quite a surprise, it was a little room. They fill up a size three tub <laughs> with warm water and a bucket on the side with cold water so I could get in the tub, scrub myself, and then pour water <laughs> to rinse myself. So I that was, was a luxury deluxe. Oh my so. gosh, I said, I, I never had gone through something like that, but I did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it was really a surprise. <laughs> okay, Mom, that's great. We're going to stop this one here. Thank okay. you. And we'll pick it up again on the other side.